November 13th edition of the SNN News with me, Gillian, and my fabulous friends. The Steelman Garden Club will meet at their school Monday, November 16th. Everybody will meet in room 376. We have plenty of indoor activities and projects to do. New members are always welcome. And attention seniors, Jostens will be on campus today outside the cafeteria by the elevator during lunch periods for cap and gown, class ring measurements, and other graduation orders. Please remember your order form and a $50 down payment. You may design your ring and print the order form at jostens.com. Oh, hey! Have you picked up last year's yearbook? If not, please do so by today as they will go into storage. Still want to purchase last year's yearbook? Come to room 277 for both. The cost is only $40. Now here is Leslie with some more announcements. Attention seniors, the class of 2016 t-shirts are now on sale in room 278. The cost is $8. Visit room 278 for an order form. All orders are due before November 30th. And the last day to join wrestling is Wednesday, November 18th. The sooner you join, the better. Mr. Gray will present workshops November 16th and 17th about becoming a DJ. The free workshops will include hand-on training using DJ software already installed on some of our computers as well as information about freeware for DJ software, which can be downloaded from the internet. You can participate by signing up in the library. Join us next week and bring your headphones. Attention Freshman Class Committee! We will meet Tuesday, November 17th after school from 3.30 to 4.15 in room 319. We will be doing a Thanksgiving activity and planning for the CMN Showcase. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Murrow in room 319 or Ms. Stolfin in room 289. And here's Landon with some more announcements. Thanks, Leslie. Attention juniors, the ACT uh, test on April 19th will be here before you know it. Sign up now for our spring ACT prep classes. The cost is only $35. You can pick up a registration form in the guidance office room 284 and pay your registration fee in the textbook center. Don't miss this opportunity to boost your skills and learn valuable test taking strategies. Attention all girls interested in trying out for the bowling team. Tryouts are next week, November 16th, 17th, and 18th, 18th from, from 345 to 515. You must be registered on 8 to 18, have a current physical on file, and attend at least one of the three days to be considered for the team. There is no exception to this rule. An activity bus will be provided to and from the bowling alley if you need a ride. If you have questions, please see Coaches Terry or Perry on. Students and staff, a representative from the following institution, will be visiting next week, Wednesday, November 18th, University of St. Francis during period three in room 279. The Infant Child Care Center is in need of empty, clean plastic milk gallon or half gallon containers. If you have them, we would be happy happy to take them off your hands. There will be a receptacle in the mail room. Please pay, place them there. And we are also in need of plastic grocery bags. If you have any and wish to contribute, we would be very thankful. There will also be a receptacle for those in the mail room. And the Infant Child Care Center is accepting gently used clean clothing in all sizes zero to three years old and adults, men's and women's. If you have them, we would be happy to take those off your hands. You can drop them off at the center or call extension 6978 and Deb Clark will arrange for picking them up. Thank you for your help. It's that time of year again. The Joliet Cyborgs Robotics will be holding their third annual dodgeball tournament on December 1st from 6 to 8 p.m. in the Joliet Central Field House. Teams must consist of 8 to 12 students or teachers from Joliet West or Central. The packets are available in the main office or in Mr. Colony's room 391 or Miss Mandolia's room 297. So go and get your teams together. This week is National French Week or La Saman de Francais. You may ask yourself, why learn French? Here are some reasons. French means science, technology, and innovation. French-speaking scientists and technicians really shine when it comes to ingenuity. And here is a short list of important French discoveries which have changed the world. Pasteurization, Braille, canned food, the combustion engine, hot air balloons, radial tires, cinema, HDTV, the first camera phone, smart cars, and Velcro. Say guys, what's for lunch today? Today's lunch would be bean and cheese burrito, pepperoni pizza, golden crispy breaded chicken sandwich, 
salmon burger, ham and deli sandwich, chef's salad with chicken, cheese, and crackers, Bosco's with cheese sticks, and marinara sauce, and your choice up to four half cup servings of kidney bean salad, fresh fruit, and your choice of milk. Monday's breakfast, pancake on a stick with syrup, 100% fruit juice, up to two half cup servings of fruit, and your choice of milk. Monday's lunch, pepper steak with rice, sausage pizza, spicy grilled chicken sandwich, cheeseburger, turkey deli sandwich, chef's salad with chicken, cheese and crackers, six inch WG Bosco cheese sticks with marinara sauce, and your choice of up to four half cup servings of tossed romaine salad, or lettuce, and spinach salad, mandarin oranges, variety of fresh fruit, and your choice of milk. Now that's all for today, Steelman. Thanks for watching, and have a great weekend. Shoot, I missed my payment. Your book office. Oh shoot. Oh shoot, this is bad, isn't it? Oh no, we're good. You can still buy a yearbook. Just pick up a flyer in the yearbook case on the second floor and bring it to Mrs. Rendy in room 277. Man, that's great. It is great, man. Thank you. <laughs> well, thanks for your help. Uh, no problem. Call back anytime.